Good morning, everyone. Yes, back live. And I'm not even going to bother about my hair today. So, it is what it is. Should have seen when I woke up. <laughs> I was almost going to take a photo and post it up. See who else woke up with a massive, like, mobile. Yeah, it was not nice. Anyway, I'm just going to hang fire for a little bit and wait until people jump on. Um, as you can see, I'm down again here at Bondi Beach. This time with a coffee in hand. So, you can see we've got a few people jumping on now. As said, you're just going to have to deal with the hair. It's far from perfect, but it is what it is. Um, Right, I'm just going to give it a, another minute and then uh, then I'll get started into what I want to talk about, which is how often do you challenge your thoughts? Um, an interesting thought that I was having this morning. Um, every day that I walk down here, I listen to a podcast um, or an audio book. And this morning I was listening to The Secret, which many of you may or may not have heard of. Um, the Secret is all about positive... Um, uh, not positive affirmations, um, law of attraction. So it's all about your thoughts and what you think about, you bring about, basically. So what I wanted to talk about, as said, is how often do you challenge your thoughts? Now, over the last probably eight, nine months since moving over to Sydney from Perth, uh, it's been a real challenging phase for me. Um, and there has been a, a number of occasions where I've had to really stop and think about my thoughts because my thoughts themselves can be less than positive at times. They can be quite destructive actually. Um, but when we're able to actually question what's underlying from that thought itself um, and really be able to get a, a grasp on what that means. Um, I'll give you a good example. Um, so every morning I said I walk down to Bondi Beach and as I'm walking down, there's a particular stretch of the road where I'm walking next to the cars and everything like that. And quite often, a lot of this was happening at subconscious level before I made it actually a conscious awareness. But I would walk past this corner and if there was a car driving past at the exact same time, I would actually think, oh, you know, play that movie. And I'm sure many of us have done this. Hey, Raphael, hope you're doing well, brother. Um, I'm sure many of us have done this where like there's this car coming past and you sort of play this movie out in your head that you know the cars come off the road and it's hit you or something like that like something really dramatic and I'm not meaning to sort of freak anybody out by this but I'm just being real with you um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I started to realize that that's just one example for myself of a destructive thought process that I really started to challenge and I would start challenging when I came down here in the morning and meditate. Um, I'd just sit on it and just inquire into it and see what's there, why is it the way that it is, um, and everything like that. But what I did was actually start to unravel it and, and start to peel back the layers. And for me anyway, we all interpret things differently. Um, that's always gonna be the same. I could be standing here by the beach and telling you it's pretty, but you might be standing here and in your, your interpretation, it's ugly. You know, we're all going to look at things differently. But what I started to see for myself in that thought process where I'm walking down the street and the cars come off the road and it's hit me and, you know, whatever, um, was it was a it was a victim mentality thought process. Basically, it was a cry out for, um, cry out for attention. Um, now, as I said, guys, I'm being very vulnerable as I'm talking about this topic. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to just share with you that, you know, if you're having these sorts of thoughts, if you're going through these things, um, ultimately what we think about, we bring about. And coming back to, as I said, the, the audio book I was listening to this morning was The Secret. Um, and yeah, we, we do really attract what we think about. So for me, if I'm having constant thoughts of victim mentality and, and everything along those lines, then what sort of reality am I really creating for myself? And I ask you, what sort of reality are you creating for yourself um, with the thoughts that you're thinking? And they're not necessarily on a daily basis, but they're in these little pieces and, and everything like that. It still all adds up. So 
when was the last time that you actually challenged your thoughts? You know, walking down the street, <clears throat> you might have something that pops up consciously, subconsciously, or generally, I guess it's going to show up in a conscious manner because subconsciously we don't necessarily know what's going on. But at the same time, as you become more attuned to yourself, you can be, you can start to bring that subconscious thought process into a conscious awareness. Um, so things like meditation or just being quiet with yourself and just inquiring as to what's going on and everything like that within yourself. Hi, Kylie. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah. When was the last time that you challenged your thoughts? You know, maybe today. I, I, I challenge you today to be walking through your day and just, just notice what's going on for you. <laughs> hey, Dave. Um, because all of these little things, whether we're having, um, you know, as I said, it's, it's in and around when we're thinking about different things as we're going through the day, certain habits are going to show up. And if there's habits like the, the ones that I was having with the thought process I was talking about before, um, you know, in my opinion, it's not necessarily a healthy one. So when was the last time you challenged your thoughts? Do that today. Just become more consciously aware of what sort of thoughts you're having in different situations because once you start to realize that, then you can start to actually change that as well. And I'm not necessarily saying like, I guess it's not so much being changing, but being aware of it to allow it to go and know that that's not truly what you want. Um, so walking to Bondi Beach one morning uh, on that same stretch of road where I would play this subconscious thought process in my mind about this car coming off the road and hitting me and all of that there was actually a morning that i walked past and i didn't even have that thought like that visual aspect i don't know if anybody's done um nlp or anything like that but um, there's visual triggers and emotional triggers and um uh, and that sort of thing so for me the visual trigger was walking down the street walking around the corner and having a car in the direction of where i was so that visual trigger was actually what triggered the, the movie playing off in my head and the thought process. So a little win for myself was when I actually walked down that stretch of road and walked around that corner and didn't even have that thought process because I was able to be to bring conscious awareness to those thoughts, appreciate that's not what I want and be able to not be impacted by those thought processes anymore. So I'm going to wrap it up guys. But as I said, as you're walking through today, just notice what's going on in your mind. Um, what sort of thought processes are you having? Um, challenge your thoughts. You know, challenge your thoughts, especially if you're in a position where you don't really want to be anymore. You know, if the reality that you're living is not the one that you want to be, then challenge it because it's the only way it's going to change. You know, there's nothing different between um, yourself, myself, and somebody who's got the life that we're looking to be living. There is nothing different from a physical perspective. It's all in here. It is simply the way that they view the world. It is simply the way that they think. It's simply that, you know, if they're walking down the street and they see this sort of visual aspect, that doesn't even come into their play. So <clears throat> that's simply what it is. So start to filter out those, those negative or victim thought processes that might be showing up in your world um, and start to be free of all of the stuff that's going on around you. And it's not going to happen overnight. It really isn't. But if you ha bring it as a consistency, it's going to happen. So as I said, I'm going to wrap it up there. But challenge your thoughts today, guys. You know, it's the, it is the way that you're going to be able to change your reality um, and start to really notice what's going on. And even if you, you know, another great one is journaling. You know, journal at the end of the day, what sort of events happened, what were things that I was thinking about, and get it out of your mind and onto paper. Because once you've got it out of your mind, then you can start to shift that and start to notice habits that are flowing in your daily routine and you can start to change those consistent habits to something that's a lot more um, positive and supportive of the life that you truly want to live. All right, as said, apologies for the hair. Didn't really do it too much today. Um, I was going to put up a, a photo of it this morning, but should have seen it, it was terrible. So it's the best effort I could do. But anyway, I just wanted to jump on and quickly share my thoughts about challenging your your thoughts um, my thoughts about challenging your thoughts <laughs> thanks angel I do appreciate it buddy um, 
because ultimately I want other people to be living the life that they truly choose. Um, and it is so easy to be held in a victim mentality. And I am so guilty of that. Um, there are so many other thoughts that I've become aware of in my own self, um, whether it be financial, whether it be uh, emotional, or whether it be just really um, self-sabotaging, basically. Um, hey, Jake, how you going, bud? Um, so yeah, challenge your thoughts today and start to make a shift in your own life and your own reality. And the other thing is, is that day that I walked down the street and I didn't have the activation of the visual trigger of the car coming around the corner and, and not having, <laughs> cheers bud, um, and not having that movie play out in my mind, I actually celebrated. I actually walked around the corner and I was like, oh my God, I didn't think about it. I was like, yes, I truly celebrated that. Those are moments that really should be celebrated, guys, because they are real shifts. So, all right, I'm out. I'm going to show you a bit of the beach and then I'm going to shut this one off. Once it turns around. It's a bit cloudy out here today. So, all right, guys. Go out into your day and go and smash it. All right. <laughs> hey, Charlie. <laughs> Alex. Sorry, guys, I'm just about to wrap it up, so you'll have to check out the recording. All right, see you, boys. See ya.